When paired with software like ArcGIS 10 by ESRI, Wacom Interactive Pen Displays can help speed the workflow and improve communication in emergency response situations like wildfire management or search and rescue operations. In an emergency response scenario, every minute is critical. Using ArcGIS paired with the Wacom Interactive Pen Display, data can be captured and delivered to crews in the field much more quickly and efficiently. Working on screen allows operators to leverage the power of feature templates in ArcGIS. This intuitive interface allows the user to draw directly on the reference imagery for the rapid creation of feature data that can be published to a server and pushed out to frontline responders in real time. Hi, my name is Matthew Baker, and I'm going to do a wildfire response map using the Wacom Interactive Pen Display and ArcGIS 10. Here we're looking at a satellite image of the city of Yucaipa, California, and I've just received word that there's a wildfire broken out, and I want to make a map of that, which I can push out to firefighters out in the field. The first thing I need to do is set up the symbols that I'm going to use to draw. Once I have those, I can simply start adding them to the map using the pen as my vehicle. The first thing I want to capture is where my incident command post is. I'll select that feature from my feature template. I'm going to add this to the map where the incident command post is. That's the first feature that I'll add. Next thing I'm going to do is add an uncontrolled fire edge. This is where the fire is burning right now. You'll notice that the inside lines point to where the fire is spreading. I'm using the pen display to accurately and quickly add that feature to the map exactly where it is using the satellite imagery as a base. The next symbol that I'll add is a proposed dozer line. This is where eventually firefighters are going to go out into the field and bulldoze a certain area to prevent a wildfire from spreading. So using ArcGIS to create these maps allows me to calculate immediately how big these features are. If I want to know how long that dozer line is or how long that active fire line is, the database reports that to me immediately and stores that information in the database, which I can then use to analyze and report later on in the response. The next symbol that I'm going to add is an escape route to make sure that firemen who are at the fire edge who need to get out there quickly have the information they need to get out. So I'm just going to draw this in following some of the roads some of the canyons, creating lines that go into the database but create the map that help firemen get out of harm's way in a quick and safe fashion. The next thing I'm going to do is add a few places called helispots. These are places that are safe for helicopters to land. Again, I'll choose that symbol from my feature template and I'll add this to the map, knowing where the flat areas are nearby where I might want to park a helicopter if I needed to. If I'm going to have helicopters in the area, I'm going to add my aerial hazards. These could be things like cell phone towers, large trees, and so on. And I'll just add these maybe to a couple of places on the map where I know that these hazards exist. And you can see that these features are now part of the map, they're part of the database. When I save my edits, they can go out to those clients who want to access them out in the field. The pen display allows me to use the aerial imagery underneath and quickly trace using the contours and valleys that I see on the map to create a search area. Having this information created and accessed digitally means that firefighters don't have to wait hours, even half of a day or a day or more to get that information that has just been created. When we create the information live, we can push it out live to them. They have the information immediately and they can make this better decisions based on that information out in the field in order to save lives and property. If you've been around a wildfire response before, you'll see all kinds of people driving around in their trucks. Each of them has a wireless device in there, a monitor, a computer, and so forth. And they're pulling in topographic maps of information which they might have collected that morning, the previous day. So the idea being now, we can put this into a database using the server technology, push it out to clients who are accessing these maps, and they can be out in the field looking at the data that I'm drawing here at the incident command post. So that means that the data gets out to them much more quickly. Rather than getting it that morning, they're getting it from 10 minutes ago, which means that they have the most up-to-date information and they can make the best decisions and be aware of where the fire is for their safety in order to save the lives of those who are affected in the community. When paired with ArcGIS 10, Wacom Interactive Pen Displays help operators more easily manage, analyze, and share critical visual data, making it easier for federal, state, and local authorities to improve communication among units and speed the organization and deployment of critical response resources to help save property, money, and lives. For more information on Wacom Interactive Pen Displays, visit our website at wacomgis.com.